Welcome to the first episode of the College Kitchen. Today we'll be making a stir fry with chicken and noodles. Need a small frying pan and a pot to boil your water in. Some chicken, of course. I like the tenderloins. They're smaller, easier to cook, and frozen last longer. Some soy sauce for the stir fry. And a little Parmesan cheese to top at the end. Some angel hair pasta, whole wheat is always healthy. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And if you have some white wine left over from the night before, it adds a lot of flavor. Got all that, we're ready to cook. Now before we get started on cooking, we're going to need to thaw out our chicken since we're using frozen chicken. I put it in a Ziploc bag, put it under the faucet for about 5 minutes under cold water. It melts about just as fast as boiling hot water, but it breeds less bacteria. So, 5 minutes under the faucet and we're good to go. Now we're ready to start cooking. We we'll start with the chicken in our bag. To your small frying pan, add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Just enough to coat the bottom to keep it moist so the chicken doesn't burn. Now we're ready to lay our chicken in. And behind our chicken that we've started cooking, I also started a pot of water boiling. Add a little bit of salt in it. And then add your pasta. Depends how many people you're cooking for. But a little bit of pasta dried goes a long way. Now back to our chicken, I flipped it over once, about five minutes on each side. But add a little bit of salt and pepper to each side. Add that to your list of ingredients, salt and pepper, always good for cooking. And at this time, you can add a little bit of the white wine. You can smell it this one. At this point, one side of the chicken should be slightly golden brown. Still cooking the other side, though. Definitely not ready to eat. And our pasta is boiling behind it. So at this point, our pasta is boiling for about seven minutes on medium to high heat. Fairly high because we want it boiling. And the chicken is on medium to low heat because we want it to slowly cook. If you put it too high, it'll burn right away. So at this point, we're going to add the main ingredient the star that gives it the most favor, the soy sauce. And you can be generous with the soy sauce, coat the whole bottom of the pan, so there's plenty to absorb flavor. Once the chicken is done cooking, we're going to add all the drippings to the pasta to give the pasta the flavor as well. Okay, now that the chicken's been cooking for its full time, I'm going to cut it open a little just to make sure it's well done. We're going to end up chopping the chicken up anyways over the pasta, so you don't need to keep it fancy and whole and look all professional. Definitely done. Okay, so now our pasta has been boiling plenty of time, it's definitely ready. Now, easiest way to do is to dump your pasta out over a strainer in the sink, but I get kind of lazy sometimes, so I just fork it out. Let all the excess water drip off. See what I mean about a little bit of pasta going a long way? Now we can add the chicken because the chicken's done too, like we saw. 
drop it over the chicken the pasta, I mean. It's nice and coated with the soy sauce. Lots of good soy sauce. Now, there's not too much dripping in it. But any that you can get out, just pour over. Cut up the chicken. Now we're good to go. Last thing I almost forgot. Sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top. Cheese isn't too Asian, but it's my little twist on it because I love cheese. Now we're ready to try a bite. Get a good piece of chicken, some noodle, good to go. Mmm. Nice and salty from the soy sauce, but the cheese gives it an extra smoothness in the end. Mm -hmm. well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of College Kitchen, and I hope you enjoy some chicken noodle stir-fry. Come back next week and see what we're cooking.